Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away and happy Thursday. It's extremely cold in here today, I've even changed the lights to actually uh, complement the weather that we've got at the moment. But we've got the next five stages of the fan home release of Build the Ford GT. I'm not kidding you, today is actually a lot colder than it was yesterday. I mean, check out my fountain here. It's completely and utterly frozen up. Uh, I've had the heating on in here for the last three hours uh, from six o'clock this morning. What with the studio lights and probably the stress of doing this build today, we're sure to warm this up. It's actually starting to get a little bit toasty in here now, which is great. It's uh, my lovely little winter log cabin. <laughs> but we're going to be continuing the door today. Then we've got other details that we're going to be putting on this uh, car. If you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link in the video description and you can get this all the way from pack one. But... I hope you're going to like this video today and I hope my fingers actually uh, start to warm up so I got a bit of dexterity in them. But without further ado, let's get cracking. So it's all going to start with stage 13 today. Now each stage does come with its own magazine in this build. So I'm just flicking through that and as you can see we're doing some glazing today. We've got the hinges and we've also got the bolts for the door. So by the end of it, it's going to look just like that. Now because we are working with a door, I do have my Partwork Upgrades mat here. Which has got the Spruverse Challenge on with uh, Aztec Dummy logos and Phil's Spruverse logo on there. Uh, I've done that because we are going to be working on the door. This is everything that we've got in the pack here, including the window. So first thing I'm gonna do, turn the door upside down and I'm just gonna be attaching the window onto this section, just like that there. It's gonna be held into place with some FD-03 screws. Now, these are flange screws, which are going directly into metal. You know what I'm gonna say, don't you? <laughs> so I'll put these screws in a little bit of oil to help get these in. So this is the first one. Now again, when you put these in, I'm letting gravity hold that into place. Do them tight, but not, not too tight that you'll break the plastic. You don't want that to happen. So two more. And here's the last one going in here. I'm gonna use my heavy duty screwdriver to help with this. And there you go. When that's in, it should look just like that. We're then going to start working on the door controls. So I need the bolt here, which is looking, if I can get it out, actually there's a bit of sellotape that's holding this in. There you go. That looks like that. And this silver section is just going to go down into the channel. So it's coming out the other side of the door, just like that there. And then on the back side of that door, we have got a little spring just to push down that shaft like this. So now that is into place in the door. And let's hold that in. We've got this little catch, which is gonna push that spring back. Kind of like that, don't know if you can see. Uh, it's gonna be held in with some FD-04 screws. Just two of them, and once again, we are going into metal. That's one, I've only put them in loosely at the moment. That should be enough actually that I can let that go. Excellent. And here's the second one. Make that nice and tight. And then I know I've got that in properly because as you can see, this is able to spring just like that. Excellent. Now on the other side here, we're just gonna be putting the hinge. This is going this way round like that. And we're going to close that off with the catch for the spring to stop that coming out. Hinge, spring, I'm calling things all over the place today. And then using some oil, I'm going to just attach that with an FD-01 screw, looking like that, right down the centre here. And get that in as tight as I possibly can. Excellent, so that's that hinge in place, and that is all there is to do in that stage. So I will keep my mat up here because in stage 14, this is stage 14 here, as you can see, we've got some linings and stuff to go inside the door. So uh, 
Once we put those in, I think we have almost a completed door there. So this is stage 14 here. Let's just get all these parts out. Excellent. Bring over the door. And the first thing we've got is this trim here, which is just gonna be plugged into these four points here. And it has got lugs, it's just a push in. So line up all the lugs. And then push that in. Just like that, it'll hold itself in. No problems at all. And then the funny thing is, uh, I've got to show you this. You see these two bits here? We don't actually use them, but you just saw two pages of instructions there. So if I just bring those instructions back in, it shows us to push those in there. But then here, it's just saying, these are what these bits look like, uh, but put them to one side. <laughs> That's the end of that stage. which means moving swiftly on to stage 15. As you can see, we've got the inner door card here, and that's gonna have the parts that we've just had for the last stage, plus some new ones here. They're all gonna go together, so that by the end of it, the whole door this time is gonna have been completed. So this is what that door card looks like. Turning it over there, we've got the little interior, which is just going into the indent you see there. I'll just put that in. It does fit over a little lug in there, so it holds itself in, but we are gonna to have to put a screw in there. As you can see, that's what it looks like from that side. Uh, the screw we're just gonna be putting to hold that in is actually a FP01 screw. Just the one screw, and it looks like that. So, there you go. Nice and tight. Bring the door over again. Now when we put this on, we don't want to push this too far because we don't want to break this bit of plastic of the window here. But this is going to be going on the interior here, just like that. And it's going to be screwed in with two screws here and they are uh, FD01 screws, which I've got here. Just the two screws holding this into place. So that's one. And that one's two which means the last thing to do when that's in is to hide those screws with this plate which came in the last stage and that's just a push in or a clip in actually. So it clips in just like this. I'm just gonna push this tab in. Probably best to use my flathead screwdriver to help with that. There you go. And then push that in like that. There we go, that's the interior door done and that's all there is to do in that stage. So here's stage 16 here. Let's just flick through to where we're getting. We've got the center floor panel. Look at that, another floor pan this week. Two floor pans in a week. Uh, we don't look like we're actually doing anything with it. We're just gonna open that. So let's open that and show you what that looks like. There you go. This is the floor pan here. Quite a big chunky thing this is. As you can see on this camera, look, check that out. Absolutely massive. Uh, but that's all we do. We just get to look at it, put it to one side, move swiftly on to the next stage. So eventually we are gonna be mounting the seats to that floor plan, but uh, in the last stage here, we have got another little extra detail that's gonna go onto that. We're putting this detail onto this here, so it looks like that. So by the end of it, we've got the floor pan with the extra section just added on, as you can see there. So this is the right rear engine compartment floor panel. Not many pieces. I'm gonna be starting by putting this little detail just into this section here. This is the connection plate, they're calling it, just like that. Turn it over, it's gonna be held in with one FP01 screw. Have that here, ready to go. And make sure that's on, like that. Now, bring over the main floor pad here. This is gonna go on this side, just like this underneath. So it slots in like that there. We're gonna turn that over, and it's just held in with two FP01 screws. One in here. Put them in lightly for a second, and just one in the other side. Just here, get them nice and tight. That's one. And two. That's in place. That's all there is to do in that stage. 
and that's all there is to do in that pack so in this pack we've got this massive floor pan where we've completed that section and we've also completed the other door here there you go big parts to complete not a lot of stuff in that one though so uh there you go it's quite a quick video really so we've completed that and that but the car is going to grow and obviously for what we've got at the moment i'm sure it's going to be a matter of time now before we get the fiddly stages where there's hundreds of things to do and the video is 10 hours long but we'll have to see how that goes if you want to get this for yourself i have put the link down here in the video description you can get this all the way from pack one now if you're watching today which is thursday the I don't know, 15th today is it? I don't know, of December 2022, I'm going to be live streaming tonight. So hopefully I'll see some of you on the live stream. Other than that, I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.